And don't worry about the Knicks, cause it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. Or don't worry about the Knicks, cause it's who, what, uh, Chris with the Knicks. Cause I ain't everybody's boy. So, and this is what this video about to be. And I want y'all all to stand right here. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm just being silly. Um, I didn't really start jumping into character today. Uh, you know how the adult life be taking over. And I just don't feel like being an adult sometimes, you know. But anyways, it is what it is. Ain't nobody going to take care of me but me. So like I said, this video is about, about to be, um, don't explain yourself to people who do not understand. And I guess going through a situation recently where people aren't true friends or family. Um, basically, what was I going to say? Um, basically, to people who, um, you help out, like some people do play on the basis of, of your niceness and they will take it for weakness or think that you're always going to be there because you care for them. But like in Anita Baker's song, Been So Long, she said, just because I love you doesn't mean I won't disappear. And I feel like you shouldn't be trying to hang on to people who don't want to be there, who just feel like you just um, a ticket for them to use to get what they want. Do not like, do not let time or even some push come to serve good memories keep you hanging on to somebody who does not want to be there. And God forbid, in this generation, do not let somebody who just um, look good or got big private parts or fat ass or whatever, you know, keep you from reaching your good potential. Because sometimes you need to cut off people who are bad for you in order for your life to start to flourish. And since I let go of, you know, of people, some you know, you started noticing some good things start happening. You know, you can't keep, you can't love somebody into loving you. You can't care for somebody who does not care about you. Especially if they have a big inflated ego or they on some drama shit. You just can't um, let all of that affect you. You know, because especially when you've been a good person, it tends to does affect you more because you do give people the benefit of doubt. But like I said, I was seeing an episode of Sister Sister. The um, Tia um, Tamara was uh, modeling, or one of the twins wanted to model, but it was a fake um, ad agency. And um, it was one of those fake ad agencies, and this was in the 90s too. And um, the stepmother had said, had told um, Tia, she said, I know you like to give people. I know you like to give everybody, you know, the respect and love, but not everybody deserves that kind of, you know, trust from you. And it's true. I know you like to give people the doubt, benefit of doubt, and give people all the time and trust, but not a lot of people deserve that kind of respect from you. Because some people, if they know how to use you, they'll use you. Especially in this generation, people love things and they use people. When in fact, it should be the other way around. But if you can't get through to somebody or they keep, you know, being a certain way, like being drunk and uh, being an angry drunk and just, you know, taking hard drugs and being out there and, you know, they not really showing their potential and talent, you know, sometimes you just got to wash your hands, throw them in there. And if they don't want to mess with you because you're trying to be on some good stuff, then so let it be, you know. You deserve better. And sometimes you have to go out far out to um, meet other people and to be there for like, just meet other people because, and far out because sometimes when you meet local people, they are local. When you meet local people, they are loco, meaning crazy. Because sometimes you could start out with somebody and they have the same dream as you and you could be in the same area, but then once you start progressing over them, then that's when this is the problem. Because some people do not care about your problems. They're glad you have them. 
Because sometimes it'd be like, mm hmm, you, oh, that's sad, oh, uh huh, mm hmm. Yeah, that's sad that that happened. But in reality, they kind of glad you had that problem. Because, like, I'm doing bad, but I'm not doing bad as you. Once you start progressing over them, getting a little bit higher, start getting a little status, and then that's when they start giving you the side eye, start plotting schemes to get you because they don't want to work or just want to get what you got, and they want to go the shady method. So you always got to be careful who you open up to, who you confide in, who you get drunk around, who, or whatever. Because like I said, some, some people to you, some people to you, is you just a meal ticket. You just are something they could use. You know, you're just a sex object. You know, they, they're happy to treat you any kind of way they want to. But then when the method is turned on them, they can't handle it. A lot of contradicting people, a lot of hating ass people. By the way, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. If they don't get you, I highly doubt at this point they ever will. You know, start being successful and that's when they're gonna try to come back in your life and then shoot that ass down. Like a plane flying, flying over the White House. Shoot that ass down. You know, this is why what keeps me very hated and loved at the same time by different people because I always tell the truth I know how to keep myself sane I know how to you know fool, try to fool me once shame on you it's like Beyonce said when you played me you played yourself because when you have loyal friends that's very hard to come by in this generation not a lot of people not a lot of people will be there and it's funny because you got a lot of people you could do a thousand times a thousand times of good things to them and they'll still go chase at the people who ain't did shit for them I never really understood that however that's they lost because I won't be your second best or you know something just to use when you know you feel down like you like I've been there for you for your bad times I've been there you know I'm trying to help you, you get better, and then you get good, and then once you're feeling good and you get your money, you spend your best memories and your best good days with other people, especially when those other people who could give a shit about you, or they just don't care, or whatever the case may be, or they consider themselves a true friend to you, but they down in a rut, so they, you were down in a rut, and you're trying to come to me because you know I give good advice and help and then you want to spend your days with them oh hell no you know so that's what just makes me um have my thought process and that's what keeps me sane because like I said I love myself and I love me and good things will follow good people will follow after that all right, anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next on some real ish. Peace.